Here comes the architect, Seth Rollins, the self-proclaimed future of WWE. Ready to go and do exactly what he does best. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. The man who bought in. The man who knows what's best for business. Oh, more who sold out, who proved he cares about no one but himself. Well, it's lonely at the top, Saxton, and that's exactly where Rollins wants to be. And when the architect has his sights set on something, it's only an inevitability. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is. But he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and will no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level, and it's hard to argue against that. It's always an eerie scene when Bray Wyatt enters an arena and the Fireflies come out. Intimidating, frightening. Once the patriarch of the Wyatt family. Byron, you should get in the ring right now and do a one-on-one -on -one interview with Bray Wyatt. Are you be great. Are you out of your you mind? You can ask all the hard-hitting questions. Absolutely. I have no questions to ask. I'll just watch. And when you think of superstars, you have no problem doing what it takes to get to the mountaintop here in WWE. Seth Rollins' name is atop the list. As does every other top generation-defining superstar, Cole. Rollins is just man enough to make his intentions and aspirations abundantly clear. That's something to admire, actually. I don't know if I agree with that, Corey, but I will say, in ring, there is plenty to admire about Seth Rollins. Love him or hate him. And with Bray Wyatt, you can never quite tell if his opponent is the man standing across the ring from him or someone inside of his own head. I think Wyatt would tell you that's because he's constantly at war with himself, Saxton. Try as he might to quiet the demons in his head. When that bell rings, it's only a matter of time until he gives in to those dark urges that he tries so hard to keep buried deep inside. Axe handle from the 
middle rope. Rollins can't find any reprieve right now. It is terrifying when Bray's in a state like this. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, as why it's already hard at work melding the mind games with physical attacks. I think we all know that The Fiend comes into every match with one move at the front of his mind. The Mandible Claw. How do you work around that debilitating hold, Corey? Well, for starters, you can keep your mouth firmly shut at all times. But your main focus has to be not leaving yourself vulnerable with the claw. You do that by only attacking when it's a good opportunity. Overextending yourself and making mistakes will make it that much easier for The Fiend to catch you with that vice-like grasp. This is nothing short of disturbing. Oh, so frightening. So bizarre. So eerie. And it's Welcome only get worse. to Sister. Sister Abigail. Cover. One, two count digging deep for a kick out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? What on earth is coming next? And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Set on the receiving end of that attack. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble is... Oh, gosh, this is uncomfortable to watch. Paralysis is setting in. Forget about it. Good night. Did Bray end it there? 